hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be putting youtube a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sew a full closure wig kindly like share comment and subscribe to my channel to my old subscribers thanks for watching if you are just watching my video for the very first time kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified each time I upload amazing and interesting content. Let's dive into the video. I'll be using H wig cap for this tutorial. So I've sewn my closure wig on my wig cap. It is very neat, firm and secure. I placed it a few inches above my wig cap before I start sewing. So I'll be, I've made a video on this. I'll be dropping the link in the comments in the description box. So the next thing I'll be doing is to be drawing my guideline on a recap. I'll be using my tape rule to draw my guideline. So I'll place my tape rule on my recap, pin it with my pin. So I'll be measuring the rest which is 10 inches so our guideline will be using one inches one inches all through in order for making the hair so I should have adjusted the wig cab so I forgot so in one of my video I made a video on how to adjust a wig cap I'll also be dropping the link in the description box so I'll be drawing my guideline around the cap. Then when I'm done with this side, I'll turn to the other side and also draw my guideline. Make sure it is straight and very neat. And make sure you measure it well with, my, with your tape rule. Then I'll be joining the rest here. So the next thing I'll be doing is to be adding the, is to be sewing the hair on my manicure following the track so i'll be using a single track for the start then when i get to the top i'll be using a double track in order to add more volume to the hair so for this tutorial i'll be sewing with my thread and needle so the first thing i'll be doing here is to be pinning the hair on my manicure following the track which i did here so I'll be sewing with a thread and needle. Make sure your work is very neat and make it very firm and secure on your wig cap. So like I said, I should have adjusted the wig cap a little bit. So in one of my video, I made a video on how to adjust the wig cap. I'll be dropping the link in the comment section. If the wig size of the wig cap is bigger than your head size and you need to adjust it, so I'll be dropping the link to the video in my comment section. So I'll start sewing with my thread and needle. This side has to be firm. I will, after sewing, I will need to tie it two times to make it very firm and very tight. Make sure it is very firm and tight. You can see my need, my thread and my thread was short. The reason why I did that is because I don't like using a very long thread because it makes it easier for me to sew than using the longer one so it is more preferable to use the shorter the length of your of your thread should be more shorter it makes your work very easier for you instead of using the longer one because as you're sewing along the line it can tangle or so it's better for you to use the shorter one though it might take time but it's worth the time and it make your work less stressful.
remember to know how to sew your closure wig and your wig cap i i made that in one of my previous video so i'll be dropping the link in the description box so i've almost gotten to the edge of this so i'll be adding another thread so watch as i do that here i wouldn't cut this first what i'm going to do is add the next one the next thread then i'm going to tie that on my on the week on the hair then after doing that i'm going to take the previous one and roll it together with the new one i just added i'm going to do that and tie it two times so then it will make your work it will make it very tight on your wig cap so it wouldn't lose at all with this I've gotten to the top so we'll be using double track for the top in order to add more volume to the hair so make sure you are still following the guideline drone this it took me less than 30 minutes before i could finish making the hair and i will go ahead and comb it and then add my hair serum or any hair treatment that will make the hair more shining so if you find this video helpful kindly give me a thumbs up like 
share to your loved ones comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified each time i upload amazing and interesting content thanks for watching bye